Nah, nothing crazy happened to me in downtown Kingston. I do have to say one night, though, my parents, uh, they drove us back to the hotel. And there was a dude on the sidewalk going crazy. Like he was screaming and, and dancing and he was just, just generally throwing, you know, like a bit of a fit. No big deal. See it all the time. Um, where I'm from. Uh, then woke up in the morning, 6 a.m., went for a walk. Dude was out in his normal spot, just chilling. If that had been me in a, in a mental state or a physical state where I was going insane like that, it would have taken me, I don't know, like weeks to recover. He was back to his baseline at right at the crack of dawn, basically. It was, there was something aspirational about it. He just needed a second. Yeah, exactly. Feeling good. Welcome. I mean, you know what? We should get started today because we got a tight docket. We got the dulls and then we got tape to tape and then we got London, which means like London has to start right at noon. And I want to play as much tape to tape as possible, which means that I should start doing the dulls right away. Skip the dulls? No, under no circumstances. I don't know how many other streamers you watch. There's really only like, um, there's only two different kinds of, well, there's three different kinds of streamers. There's me. I'm in a class of my own, of course. There's um, streamers who start with eight hours of just chatting and then two hours of like group gaming and then they sign off. And then there's streamers who start with four hours of just chatting and then they do uh, six hours of TikTok reacts and then they sign off. Hi, honey. Daddy's working. How you doing, honey? We're watching the Gabby's dollhouse. You're watching Gabby's Playhouse? I think it's the name. We're trying to figure out the wizard cat's name. The wizard cat's name? Isn't it called like a uh, Pandy? No, no. They didn't say in the book. It's not Pandy? No, no, no. Hey, what does Tomo say? He says, Buongiorno. Hey. He says, Good morning, yeah. <laughs> Good morning there. That's what Ruka says. He says, Good morning. Good morning. Okay, come here. Okay. Okay, enjoy your video. Why does he say buongiorno? Um, well, we have like a little piece of, like it's a note paper, notepad, and it has a cat that looks like Tomo, and for some reason it says buongiorno. So we've been saying that Tomo says buongiorno now. Little, little you know, world building you do when you are basically doing like eight hours of improv every day. Are you trying to dad pill chat? What, what, is, what does it mean to be dad pilled? Am I trying to convince you to have children? No, because then you won't watch the stream as much. It's in my best interest that all of you get like white collar office jobs that you can keep me on your second monitor while you're at work all day. But you don't get too many hobbies outside of that. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Woo. Or even better, unemployed? No, because you got a sub. I need you to be gainfully employed. It's the economy is one big washing machine that just goes around, man. Everybody's got a Well, like 97% of people have to have a job or whatever. 3% of people can just be being chilling. You need to have a job so you can sub to me so that I can have money and I use that money to buy things from the businesses that employ you and then they pay you and you use the money that they pay you to pay me and then I use the money that you pay me to pay you and then it just keeps going around and every time we do this transaction, the government takes like, you know, 5 to 15% and that's the way that we keep the services running. Hey, thank you to the librarian for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you and thank you to Riverpig for the subscriptions as well. Thank you. It's a gift slash marker. So you're going to buy stuff from the grocery store that I work at? I don't know. Maybe. It's possible. Do you work for Daryl's Conglomerate in the western part of Canada? I do have to say, 
I do have to say in a frog voice, I do have to say, um, had a great three bike rides on the, on the Peloton this morning. And also, I can't deny that I went to Costco last night. Do you think it's possible that there's a connection between these two things? I really felt like myself on the, on the bike this morning. Any Costco anecdotes? No, just a bunch of grown adults trying to push each other out of the way for like a little sliver of meat lasagna they're never going to buy to begin with. That's about it. Give me... Oh, dude, I love box office game. January 23rd, 2009. This is the most impossible game of the... Well, actually, game the game is probably... Or not game the game, but game... Uh, game they'll guess the game is the hardest of all. Okay, January 2009... Oftentimes, this is a horror movie uh, period. Now, I see a movie. This is, a, uh, this is probably Oscar bait. Fox Searchlight, it's been in theaters for three months and is, is rising in terms... It's adding more theaters. It was just nominated for, like, Best Picture or something. It stars Dev Patel. This is Slumdog Millionaire. Boom. Eat My Shorts. Sony picture, let's look, week number one, it opened to $20 million. For January, it's respectable. Let me get a genre. It's a fantasy action thriller from Sony. Let me get actor number one, Rona Mitra. Fuck. Um, let me get actor number two, Bill Nye. Oh, okay, he's the old guy. I know, he's Sean's dad from uh, Shaun of the Dead. Also, Michael Sheen. Is this, um, is this an Underworld movie then? Is this Underworld? Holy fuck, there's a lot of them. Rise of the Lycans, maybe? <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, every war has a beginning. What an audacious tagline for like the seventh movie in the franchise. Okay. The fact that we got any points on that is, is crazy. Now, this is in its second week. First week maybe opened around 40 mil. It's pretty good. It's probably an action movie. Yeah. Action adventure comedy family starring Kevin James. 2009. I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry. 2009. It could, I mean, it could be Paul Blart. It could be like Grown Ups. I don't know. The, okay, it's Paul Blart. I don't know the exact timeline of, of all the Kevin James movies. I guess I should have known from top billing. He would be, Adam Sandler would probably be top billing. Fair enough. Okay, this is a Warner Brothers movie that is going to cross 100 million. It's a drama. Probably another, it's been in theaters for uh, a full year. It's probably more Oscar bait, which is fine. Stars Clint Eastwood. This is um, um, uh, Gran Torino. Not really Oscar bait, but... Holy cow, we're doing great today. We, we just got one more. It's a Paramount movie. It's a family comedy that's not animated. It's, it's not doing so well at the box office. Stars Emma Roberts. Um, let me get a tagline. No stray gets turned away. I don't know the dog movies. Actor three is Don Cheadle. Reveal all hints, please. Placed in a foster home that doesn't allow pets, 16-year-old Andy and her younger brother Bruce turn into bandit is, is Hotel for Dogs. I know nothing about this, except I think that they had a Nintendo DS game about Hotel for Dogs. Imagine the smell. They have to do some quick thinking to keep the cops off their tails. I don't get it. What it like? Aren't they just running a business? It's illegal. I, you know, I think there should be regulations about running like a pet hotel. I don't want a 16 year old kenneling my dogs just because they decided they like dogs. Like I want to, I want someone who's got some experience, man. They're strays. Well, they could still get rabies or something like that. It's just, I don't know. It seems like they should at least go through the proper permitting process. But I haven't seen the movie. Maybe they, maybe they handle that. It's in an abandoned building. That doesn't make it any better. If anything, it's even worse. They might uh, is, uh, get hepatitis from a piece of like, uh, like a rusty nail or something like that. The Wrath of De Niro. 
especially when pitched to the level of a jangle brain Jehovah, is a mighty thing. But in this case, its inherent cartoonery capsizes the film's small story frame. Are you speaking English, you dumb motherfucker? <laughs> what does this mean? <laughs> this is, like, ancient, dude. This is a drawing. You don't see these around too much anymore. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I've ever seen one of these in my... I don't even know what the hell this thing is. I'm assuming that this pushes... Uh, this is where the ex uh, hot air comes out. This is where the exhaust comes out. I don't know if this is like an old school sewing machine <laughs> or something. This is just a doodad. It is the, the early... Like the, the Wild West and I guess the early 20th century. We had a lot of doodads doohickeys and so forth, right? Like they were making cars, but they were putting like all the belts and the gaskets and shit on the outside because you had to sit in this little coffin here. Oh, man. I mean, I got to... I, why would I not go 1900? Like it's... Sure, we're wrong, but like it's the oldest photo I've ever seen. They're actually wearing like almost exactly the same drip as me today. This is kind of crazy. Now, here's the ultimate question. What sport are they playing? I guess I'm going to assume that this is soccer. Volleyball? I don't think it's volleyball, man. I think that's an old school soccer ball. Like, I think, you know, this is not the volleyball outfit. This guy's not showing up for the volleyball championship. Look at Josh Brolin is not putting on a pinstripe suit. Go watch a bunch of grown men play volleyball. I have no clue whatsoever. I'm going to say this is 1930 even. We take those. This is the First World War. Let's call this... Uh, I don't mean to say this in like a positive way, but the men are looking like kind of fresh. It's like the, the, they seem relatively like not beaten down yet. So maybe this is like 1915. It's actually 1914. People are going to say, why would you, oh, like the war was all peaches and cream early. I'm just saying, like they, you see photos from the end of the war. It's a very good point. They weren't wearing the hats at the end of the war. They were wearing the old artillery shells cut in half. I have no idea, man. I mean, it's like Mexico 1912. Okay, it's just pure luck. <laughs> It's just complete luck. This is a really old one today. 3347. Not a great score, but like all things considered, we'll take that. Presented by Carrie. <laughs> I love I love Housel. It's so bougie. Presented by Carrie Ann Sullivan and Tammy Pardee with Pardee Properties. I haven't even seen the outside of the house, which is not really it's hard for me to tell how big this is, but I hate this, by the way. Like, I, I, we, we've been to a lot of open houses over the past two months. I hate a living room that doesn't have a TV in it. And then, like, the TV is in, like, the basement. They're like, oh, this is, like, a lounge. That just does, it's, it looks nice, but at the same time, I'm like, that's not realistic. People watch TV in the living room. I get that this is like professionally staged or something like that. So instead of, oh, these guys don't watch TV. Instead, they have a painting they look at that's, oh, and they don't have a couch. They've got like two armchairs that are 25 feet apart from each other. It's not realistic, okay? It, so I appreciate that this looks ugly, but it's productive. It's, it's, Practical, I guess, is what I mean. They have a television in their living room because that's where you watch the, the TV and the movies. I hate, though, that they've cut out part of the wall to, to have like a, 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 an inset to put the TV. That's a little tacky to me. It just goes to show you that I, you can't please me. Anyway, unless this is... Like, I, I don't mean to be judgmental. Like, it's bigger than my house, I'm sure. But like, little kitchen island... Two bar stools, relatively small kitchen. I mean, this looks like modern, but it doesn't seem like a big place. I'm going a little low. I don't know where it is, though. 
You know, now that I think about it, the fact that it's presented by party properties and not just like dude who owns the house has got me thinking that this is probably in a high cost of living area. So just start me at like 1.25 and then we'll glean more information. That's too low. Okay. It's in Venice, California. Astro turf rooftop patio. How many, how many fireplaces do you need? It's another thing that I've been seeing when we go to these open houses. The living room has like a, a, a gas-enabled fireplace. There's a rooftop with a fireplace like this. People are like, there's a natural gas line. You could put your fire table there. Are you trying to die? I'm, ass I'm assuming Venice is just outside of Los Angeles. Real estate's probably messed up like it is in Vancouver. You know, give me like, give me like $1,000 a square foot and then take me to, to two milli. That's too low. We're, we're going to get it right today. I'll tell you that much. Three bed, three bath. How about a 2.25? It's just that easy. It's not, a, it's not an ugly house. It's just like it wasn't like a sprawling mansion like the ones that we've seen in Arkansas. I know I make this joke on Listed uh, quite frequently. This is the kind of house where like as a kid you would watch it or you sorry as a kid you would see it in a movie and it would be like my dad's in between jobs right now. This is our humble family abode and you'd be like yeah that checks out and now as an adult you're like what the fuck? You got a stay at home mom, your dad is uh, got laid off and you live in a 4000 square foot mansion in the northeast. How did that happen? Like Home Alone. You're, yeah, I mean, I, it's stolen from Twitter, but the, the joke of like, I want to know what Kevin McAllister's dad did to live in a 5,000 square foot mansion and take his entire family on a trip to Paris for Christmas. He lived in the 90s. So true. So true. The Simpsons house is supposed to be kind of a shithole, but now it's worth $3 million. I mean, I'm just, I'm picturing the Simpsons house in my, in my head right now. It's got a garage. It's got a, it's got a little yard. It has a beautiful living room with a bay window. <laughs> it's got a television. It's got a kitchen. It's got a basement with the laundry in it. It's got an attic. It's got at least th three bedrooms. I don't know where Maggie sleeps, but it's got at least three bedrooms. I think I've only ever seen one bathroom, though. It's in Glen Ellen, Illinois. Is this one of those places where I've never heard of it? And then I guess too low. And people are like, oh, this is where the r really rich people in Chicago live. Like rich people live in a glass penthouse downtown. But like the, the generationally rich people live in Glen Ellen. Take me up to... Take, uh, Chicago's got crazy real estate. Take me up to 1.25. It's lower than that. I'm not going under 1.1 for now. You drive a hard bargain. Four beds, three baths. Okay, I'm going down to one. It's built in 1948. You wouldn't know it. It looks, it looks beautiful. I'm going down to nine. Ah, 2,500 square feet. 850. Lot size, 8,000 square. I'm going to throw up. It's 10,000 square foot lot. You playing cricket out there? Holy cow. Uh, say 875,000. Damn, dude, that seems, it seems like a steal. Don't get me wrong, it's expensive, but this, this beautiful house, 2,500 square feet. Four beds, three baths, enormous lot. That's a tiny lot. What are you talking, it's 10,000 square feet. What do you mean it's a tiny lot? As average? Your ass is in for a reckoning. It's not an average lot size. Holy cow. Our lot is 11,000 square feet. It doesn't feel big. Travel to a city. And then tell me how... That, it's the thing that drives me crazy is the people who live outside of the city always say things like, I don't understand how those people can live there uh, in those tiny little shoe boxes. And I'm like, brother... Look at a, a graph of like population density. You guys with your sprawling estates are the fucking weird ones. The people in the city are the normal ones. 
or at least we're the, the average, I should say, they delude themselves into thinking that they're representative of the norm when the norm is actually, you know, living in 900 square feet. Don't try to d delude me in the chat. The 8,500 square feet lot is small. Same thing, 2,500 square feet. That's like a, that's a pretty big house, man. I mean, that's like... You know, in the 1950s, the average starter home was 1,200 square feet? Average. That means like, you know, half of them were, were smaller than that. Half of them were larger, but half of them were smaller. People were growing up. They got four kids. They got one bathroom. They made it work. Now we're out here saying you didn't know how good you had it. Really? I had to hold in my... I wasn't alive back then, but granddad had to hold in a shit for like three hours while his four daughters all took showers one after each other. No wonder he drank himself to death. Anyway, we got travel still. You're losing me? I kind of lost myself there in, in the middle of it. Today I'd like to go to Germany from Norway. Dude, they heard my complaints. It's, it's perfect. Uh, me personally, I would probably go through Denmark. And then I would say like right after that, I would be like, Sweden? He's insane. <laughs> Holy cow. Did you see Doja Cat's Met Gala outfit? Did you see the video of Doja Cat saying, bye, bye, I love you, and then moaning into the, uh, the phone like 20 times? I don't know what I did on Twitter to get that on my For You page, but I'd like some more, please. Oh. Okay, slash, marker, tape to tape. We made it back. Tape to tape is now officially out. The hockey roguelite. I even got a controller. Can you believe this? I was previously playing on keyboard and mouse, like a like an absolute psychopath. Cover cover the man or cover the past. You gotta do Oh we do they're gonna destroy me. Get sprung. Get sprung. And then spring again. Worst shot of all time just dropped. Free Kelly Jelly, okay? She's set up the cycle. She needs, she needs to be a little closer to the net to make that happen. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Stars POV. I, did, I, I saw that Joe Pavelski scored four goals in one game last night. And the Stars lost 5-4. How does it feel to be the Shohei Otani of uh, the NHL? I did see a comment that made me laugh that said, Bro got hit in the head so hard he woke up and thought he was Wayne Gretzky. You're, you're lucky. I you got lucky that I tried to put some skill on it. Oh, oh. <laughs> that deserves to be a goal. Yeah, that's fair. I, I, I squandered my defense there. Go ahead, Adam Gravy. I mean, when you got the person who has the checking perk, you go for the check. Now, unfortunately, I missed the check, but... There you go. You wait till you see it leave their hands. Good work. Good work. Good work. I'm just too close. I got, everybody got too close. Okay, that's off. That's so offside, ref! What are you doing? You got to hand it to them on this pass, though. Like, look at that. That's blatant. <laughs> got to do an offside challenge or something, man. That's... That's egregious. Oh, no. <laughs> what have I done? Kill him. Kill him. There you go. Just play the body. Play the body. Oh, my God. Make sure you don't hurt nobody. There you go. You're free. Oh, we almost had it, huh? Just kidding. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know why I tried to body check the goalie. I'm just skating. I'm doing... Oh, I'm going Tony Snell mode. I'm just doing cardio. Holy cow. It's getting a little spicy. That was almost insane. Whatever. We take those. 3-2 win. <laughs> I love Tony Snell. He's my favorite jogger. 
I don't understand one thing about basketball. I know we've talked about this before, and people say it's an ignorant take. How are there not basketball players who are so good they make 100% of the shots? Like, they're, not, they're never moving the position of the net. Like, at some point, don't you just have it all locked in the targeting computer? Like, no matter where you stand, it's like 100%. But, like, how do you have players in the NBA who miss free throws? Like, that's the part that doesn't make any sense to me. There's no defense. Speaking of no defense, what, what is the opposition doing here? Don't score on me right after I, I owned you like that. Please. <laughs> I'm begging you. Whoops. That belongs to me. Good shot. Really, really good use of your talents there. Whoa, no! You have a completely different vantage point when you're like 40 feet taller than the net. But they're, they've always been 40 feet taller than the net. Ever since like the sixth grade. They're kind of nice with it. Agree to disagree. Kind of mean with it because they're my enemy. Every single... Hockey player is my enemy. You gotta take your chance on that one. When you're in alone, even if you're in tight, you got plus 40 shot power and x-ray shot. We take those! That's the synergy! I think he got the tip in there, but he only got through because of the x-ray. Look at this. They're glowing green. Look at the shot. Ooh! Andre Vasilevsky, when asked how he could better track the shots through the screens of the Toronto Maple Leafs, I don't know. Maybe get some x-ray glasses or something. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate that defense. You really helped me out on that one. Just absolutely no, no chance whatsoever after losing the faceoff. X-ray should go through the goalie too. I like where your head's at. Might be a little overpowered. Oh, we're back! <laughs> we're so back! It's looking like uh, the Kraken versus the Stars yesterday. Work the cycle. Just take a, a default X-ray. Oh! Dude, we got the strat figured out for this team right now. Just keep yeeting X-ray shots from the point. They can't block it. They can't do anything. And look at the... Ooh! Look at the tip. And this is the, this is the ideal setup right here. You got to knock me off the puck before I get a chance to shoot it in front of Shaggy. We're, actual worst shot of all time. No facetiousness. Great pickup, though. I'm scared. I'm no longer scared. We take those. You gotta take those. We follow through. That was that was three quarters of a second. That's fine. That, that means it's a clean and legal hit. Hey, any chance we got some possession coming our way? Ooh. One of these. One of these. One of these. One of these. Oh, I had you. The stanchion. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, did you see it? It, it rode along the... Like, the, I don't even know what you call it. The shelf. It rode on the shelf for like five seconds. It's just, it's an act of God. Sorry, we got time for an x-ray. Everybody set up in front of the net. Give it, McShaggy, great, great attempted tip there. And we're 3-3 at the end of the first. Holy cow. Angus, any, any chance you've ever wanted to hustle in your life? Oh, Interesting to see that the uh, on-ice crew decided not to uh, get the Gatorade bottle off the ice. I would have thought it's kind of like a hazard, but not everybody's as concerned about player safety as me. Okay, the, it doesn't really count as a scary hit in the post um, when you're like right next to the post. But we we gotta we gotta nut up a little bit here. I mean, this is getting a little ridiculous. Just everyone settle a little, settle her down. We're going to go back to our set plays. How's that for a set fucking play? How's that for a set play? You see the, the skilled use of the yo-yo? Oh! 
eat my shorts. Okay, take it, take it to Gretzky's orifice. Feed it back for an x-ray shot. Get the tip, get the McShaggy tip. Why is your one dude green? It's Chibli in Roblox. My one dude, oh. <laughs> my one dude is green because um, when he receives a pass from our right wing, he gets f plus 40 shot power. She gets plus 40 shot power. And this synergizes with the fact that her shots also go through players except for the goalie. I see some people saying it would be nice if it went through the goalie. I agree it would be nice if every time I press the button it was a guaranteed goal. But it might mess up the balance a little bit. That's bad. We got to work on covering that one in the future. I can't believe we're going to OT on this one. Oh! Or are we? Good try, good try. Okay. Okay. Overtime one. And you know, the, the goals have come fast and furious. We're probably in for a quick one today. I won that face off. I would, I would take that to the bank. Is there, a, is there an ability I could get that would make my goalie not be so ass? It was the weakest backhand of all time. And then give me some training. I'll take uh, plus four overall to all players. Then I'm going up against the refs. I'm scared because the refs, they, they call back some of our goals, I remember. But then we can call back some of their goals as well. If Well, one of their goals if we need to. Hold A to skip the anthem. It's my first time making it to the boss. You think I'm going to skip the anthem? This is like the Finnish national anthem. We pledge allegiance to the flag of Timé. Remember that? I forgot about this. He always gives the uh, he always gives them the face-off win. They also have a catcher in net, which is not even a. I'm not sure if you know this. It's not a hockey position, unless you're talking about catching these hands. I'd like to throw my stick. I don't have the stick throw. No, no one-timers. No easy ones. What a body check. I'm in. Good save. I, gotta, I give credit where credit is due. Doesn't matter. They're going to win the face-off. And then, did you see that? Uh, Vladimir Guerrero Jr.? No, no, no. You don't take that goal back. Off the alley-oop. Let me let me see this replay. There's no replay, the, and the and the faceoffs in my zone make it make sense. I don't even remember who skates faster backwards. He threw the puck at the goalie. <laughs> Sorry, I normally pride myself on being a little bit more of a reserved man, but I didn't see that coming. Did you see this the defensive setup though? It's over. Oh. He's broken my heart. Oh, no. Three seconds. He saved it. Holy cow. 2-2. <laughs> two, two. We got outshot a little bit there. That was a decent period, though. We had some high-value chances. That was another high-value chance. Okay. Dude, you got it. it the alley-oop is the greatest goal in the game. You take away one from me, you're not taking away two from me. Look at this. Clean with it. It's one of the greatest goals ever scored. Now, we just, just play clean. And then if we ever let them score, which is a high likelihood, we just revert the first goal. 
And we got a little cushion. Great hit, great hit, great hit. That's fine, I still got possession. It's in, it's over. Give them the salute, they deserve the salute. Eat my shorts. We're going past the first boss for once. I'm, I'm maybe a little cocky, but... We just play tight defense. We don't give them any clean lines. We don't, we, we cover the one-timer. Don't give them any easy, uh, cheesy goals close to the net. Oh, oh. <laughs> you imagine that that goalie almost had the most realistic portrayal of a panic attack ever caught on film. Don't give him the easy one-timer. That's the... Oh, ooh, yeah. The, the, the one-timer at a distance, I don't mind. But the, the one-timer right across crease, like that's a, that's a certified hood classic if you've ever played the NHL games. Oh, that's how you do it! <sighs> Maybe it's a little cheesy, but you know what? Cheese, Gordon Gecko voice, cheese is good. Beautiful play. Okay, we got a three on one. It's the kind of thing that'll just break your heart. I mean, as soon as you saw it, I remember the Canucks one year in overtime, they gave up a three on O to the Blues. You just know, you might as well turn the TV off as soon as you see it happen. No goalie on earth could stop the, the three on O. Like, look at this. There's nothing he could do. And we got possession. Get up. Get up. Little bro thinks he's uh, is Tony Snell hour. Good save. I didn't know you were capable of doing those. Okay, now we try to send it over to the left. Get a get an alley oop. The alley oop did not come to pass. I've killed my own player. I've eliminated the one timer though. Did it, it eliminated the opportunity for a rebound. We win these. We win these. And we get to hold on to the, the goal disabler, I think. That's an enormous win. We're going the distance now. Good stick throw. Good stick. We, we stay on these. We stay on these. Okay. We stay on these. We stay. Oh, they, they tried to fart on me. It's my dream come true. How many sticks do you have? They shrugged it off! Even the goalie's farting! What's happening, man? They got multiple sticks on their back. They look like Dr. Octopus. Everybody's farting. I don't know what to say. Oh, now that is a dream killer. <laughs> oh, baby. I love the music, too. This, this match right here is just chaos. They're throwing sticks everywhere. Malva would love this team. Absolutely true. OMG, I slid down the kid's tunnel slide. You okay, Kate? And I landed on my back. Are you all right? A lot of people saying Monka S, one person saying reroll. <laughs> I am injured. Are you hurt or are you injured, injured? No broken bones. All right, let's get a, get a Gatorade and orange slice and, and walk it off. That's how we used to do it in the 90s. Can't believe it didn't go in. Walk the line. We got injured gamers on the opposition squad. You love to see that? These belong to me. I'm sorry to tell you, he slipped in like a disc in my wife's back. He just slipped. Oh, baby. She's probably fine. She'll get a bruise or something. Plus, she laughed at me for like a month when I fell down the stairs. In fact, she... It's, it didn't just last for a month. She's now turned it into one of those stories she tells people, um, like, when we meet them. She'll be like, my husband fell down the stairs six months ago, and I w at first I was scared, and then I cried laughing. A golfer on the king's lands? What is this travesty? That's Wayne Gretzky. That's young Wayne. 
I'm very familiar at playing against Wayne Gretzky because when you play EHL, uh, EA NHL online, every team's first through fourth line center is just Wayne Gretzky at different ages. Like it's like Wayne Gretzky, old Wayne Gretzky is like the fourth line center. 1987 uh, Wayne Gretzky is the first line center. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> he unsheathed his sword. I mean, the dude in armor is not getting KO'd by my sword throw, I think. Whoop, whoop, whoop. That's a goal. He's the great. That's why you, did, you didn't need the extra sticks on Rory McShaggy. He just needs the one. The helmet blocked my obvious one timer goal. Oh my god. Prince Tristan Arthur the 14th. You got to body check him when he when he sets up the sniper shot, dude. It's, <laughs> it's not he's unstoppable. Look at what he's skating away. Oh man. I mean, that's no slouch. I, I I would have to gauge that as like a 90 in the shot power department. Like, that's still pretty scary, dude. Oh, no, they've taken down my stick lord. Just get ready. You know he's going to gear up for it. That's it. You know what? Being predictable is a, is a huge weakness in this game. Anyway, let's go for the same goal. I've scored 17 times. There it is. <laughs> Listen, if they're not going to play defense, I'm, I'm hitting them with the one-timer all day, every day. They actually, like, can't knock me off the puck. It's kind of embarrassing. I feel a little bad for them. They're generating next to no offense. I've been frozen. The, the cold never bothered me anyway. That's just disgusting. You know how far away I was from the net? It's just a disrespectful celebration at the end of the day, too. This is when, it, just to be honest, you start to feel a little bad for the opposition. Sometimes it happens in like online hockey. You're like, ah, shouldn't have gone, you know, for so many one-timers. Now I got like a 7-0 lead and they still got to sit here for 15 minutes. Then they go into the pause menu and just sit there for 45 seconds. Then they go into the pause menu and sit there for 45 seconds. Then they go into the pause menu and sit there for 45 seconds. And then you go, no, fuck them. It's what they deserve. Nice try. Nice try. Nice try. Spring him. Oh, what a throw. He, uh, it's, that's a one-timer goal. They didn't take it. They took it. Captain Cultist. Why are you celebrating? You're about to lose 6-2. to two. And you, you had the power of, like... He who shall not be named on your side. Okay, we got 20 minutes to try to make our first successful win of all time. Our rubber is crazy. We got 50 rubber. We had 34 shots on net. I would absolutely love for you to double the time that knocked players stay on the ice. Because we're knocking people over like crazy. The promised land. Stanley's Cup. Obviously, you go for the challenge because we have no other option. We scored the first goal. We're going to win the coin toss, and then we're going to score, and we're going to win. Matt Hasselbeck. And then, oh, dude, I'm so excited that we're going to double the time that they're on the ice. You might as well just stay down. Five seconds. That's all it took. We can beat you from the blue line if we have to. It's not the way we normally do it, but if we got to stop, stop grappling me. If we got to do it. What the hell? I mean, I... Number 37, what are you doing there? You ever consider, like... <laughs> you 
You ever consider playing some defense? Whoa! What a waste. Oh no, dude. No, 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 no. Take the one timer, block the one timer. Okay, you're okay, you're okay. What the hell are these grapples, man? Can't defend against this. Even they don't know what they're doing. Look at that, they took my guy. I needed that guy. That's an insane pass. I pivoted to do a little backhand spinorama pass. No, 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 no grapples, no grapples. What, what just happened? Oh! He had a heart attack right after he shot it. Well, I don't know what I was thinking. Can I get somebody with a stick throw? Oh, land the body check, dude. Okay, great play, great play. Nobody is alive. That's just, I mean, you can't stop that when all your players are dead. That's, a, I don't even feel good about that one, but. <laughs> when their whole squad is on the ice. And then we're on the final boss fight. Plus four overall to all players versus the golfers. We could do this. We could, we could finish the game before London and not be late. Whether we win or lose. Stumple's gonna renegotiate after this. I mean, he should. He's been he's been kicking ass. He's he's been the most valuable member of our squad that doesn't eat his sticks at people. Pam Pumpernickel and Cornelius Putson. <laughs> He's going to ask for 8 by 7 That's not even that bad in the modern era, man. That's, he deserves it. We might have to let him go to free agency, though, depending on whether we're still going to be in a flat cap era. I don't know what's happening. Uh, that's, that's a bad start. I'm not reverting it. I mean, I guess you might as well revert it. One goal counts the same no matter what here. Well, did I tap it fast enough? Maybe I didn't tap it fast enough. <laughs> Sorry, we still got one in our back pocket. Stop knocking me over. That's okay. That one's canceled. This ice got me sliding around like crazy, man. Oh my god, they're so fast on the grass, dude. The puck is. Did you see it? it had some English on it. I can't. They can't be stopped. The puck is curving in the air. Okay, remember, it's only two goals. Everything's... Everything's okay. I don't know what's happening. They got their irons out, man. Oh, I needed a cheesy one-timer. Oh, my the whole team's sleeping on the job. Good, good. Okay, remember, what's the game plan? Do you see this, the English they put on this? The game plan is you knock them over. Let's go. <laughs> the game plan is you knock them over and then you score when they have no defense. Horrible play. Knocked over your own teammate. Stays down twice as long. Bro, the goalie. What's the goalie doing? He's not doing anything. I get that they're shooting curveballs, but you gotta, you gotta block them. It's not, I, I, I can't keep him on zero shots. Surprising. Life goes on. Do it again. I can't believe that wasn't in. Okay, do it again. You got great possession. It's the Stanley Cup Finals. You don't give up in the Stanley Cup Finals. Oh! Hey, Sniper. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. We're right back in here. And we're right back out of there. <laughs> I mean, these outlet passes are, are nutty. Okay, we got our whole team back. You're in trouble now. Once they get their sticks, it's over for you. <laughs> oh! What the?
what the hell just happened? I think it was a, a, a brutal tip-in. Here it comes. I don't know. Just adjusted him. Just to cause him to maladjust. We're only down by two? It's, it's actually so doable. It's so bad. Like our goalies, they've made like one good save. I'll give them that, but you got to be a little bit. I mean, you got to be better. Dump it, dump it, dump it, dump it. Oh. Just four quick ones. And then one more to finish. I mean, I'll even settle for winning in overtime. There we go. We made him dump all his sticks. They got more sticks. I can't stop you. I have no defense. You're the fastest players that have ever existed. You can't be stopped. Stop scoring. You're making me late. I'm just dumping it. I'm so scared. Every time I get the puck, like five... Oh, th th there's like ten of them past me! I didn't, I didn't build for the final boss. At this point, I'm like, I just got to keep possession just so I can not be too late for London. Oh, no. Come on. Come on. Put the hustle a little bit. <laughs> oh, no. For everything else, there's MasterCard. Someone in chat was saying, what if the fairway gives you, like, a better chance to score? Like, what if you shoot from here? <laughs> Maybe not. Ring around the rosy. <laughs> that one hurts. It'd be funny if the final boss was like someone who built up their team. Like you played against somebody that's also on the final boss for online multiplayer. At the end, oh man, that'd be embarrassing for them to only beat me 11 to 3 as of right now. <laughs> I, you, I, I really don't understand how you could stop that. Like, the, the shot was from center ice, just lobbed it right over my goaltender's shoulder. I can't believe we, we got a save on a breakaway. That's a new one. <laughs> it must be scripted, dude. I That could have easily gone in. They won 13 to 3. It's pretty bad. New skill unlocked, dash. So unceremonious. Baka. I mean, who is Bob Barker? Who is Bob Barker? I, think, I Betty White's evil, and I know it because of Bob Barker. What are you talking about? He hates her ass. Wow. Was Betty White the one that was racist off the Ambien? No, no, no. no, no. That's, uh, <laughs> that was uh, that was Paula Dean. That's, that's Paula Dean. That's Roseanne. Dean. That's Roseanne. Oh, that's, that's Roseanne. 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 Oh. Was Paula Dean just regular racist? Yes, probably. Like not think, drug, not drug I assisted. I think she said the N word. <laughs> I mean, I'm certain she did. No, Maybe. like right. I mean, I, I think that was the big deal. Gotcha. Was oh, I forgot to upload a vod last night. Two days Ryan, in a row, we were, man. We were doing D10 predictions while we were waiting for you, Ryan. What do you think? What do you think? Four. Four. Ooh. Hey, that's what I voted. All Dude, right. if it's Three? a four, I'm gonna be. Wait, let me put 170 points on Three. Inconsolable. <laughs> yeah, Wait, what is it? Twenty-two percent of people on three, bro. Get out of my number. There's like, there's like eight people in chat who always vote three, so you're kind of screwed with that one. They want to beat me so bad. They did it first, <laughs> dude. Dude, I did, it, I did it like a year ago. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. I got beef. Here we go. He's rolling. 
Oh, lucky number seven. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Is that me? Is that me? Oh, oh my god, I got 55,000 points. <laughs> Betting on seven <laughs> is really cringe, though. Because <laughs> it's like the one that everyone always bets on. Oh, yeah, well, not this time. Oh. It's literally like free Looking thinkers. Like, like, oh, free thinkers when they think their lucky number is um, unique. Oh, what's your lucky number? Seven. Oh, yeah, cool, man. Sorry. <laughs> uh, that joke really fucking fell on its fucking I face, it bro. Was Okay, Ryan, I got 470k points in your channel. Can you do one? <laughs> I don't have a dice. I'll roll, I'll roll for you. That's what, I, that's what I've been doing I'll the whole time. for you. Yeah. I, I'm doing it on camera, too, so it's it's not cheap. Yep. Okay. Get in there. You I'll, gotta, I'll you go to join my in. lobby, though. I'm joining, man. Okay, what, what, what okay, dice do you want, Ryan? Do you, do you want the red, black, and gold one? Do you want the one with the flowers inside? Or do you want the one with, like, liquid and, like, confetti? Um, I don't care. I hit the back button. Wow. He would, he would say he doesn't care. That's such a dad thing to it's say. such a dad thing, dude. He's what like, I got bigger things to worry nobody about. nobody pick? Okay, what will Apollo roll? And it, you have 30 oh my seconds God. to get your predictions in. 30 oh, seconds. Okay. Yeah, 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 that's respectable. That's respectable. <clears throat> I'm going to put I'm in. Even, I'm not even all tabbing. Dude, this could be I'm massive. I'm listening to the echoes, yeah. man. I put in 200k. I have like a lot of points in Ryan's channel, but I, 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 you know what? I'm saving up for a million, dude. Dude, I, I made so many points in Ryan's chat when he was fighting that Elden Ring boss. Yeah. Oh, dude, same. That's everyone... where I got all my points. I got it dude, right when he, when he just... killed Lunala. I fucking nailed Gee. it. Everyone would just predict to no every single fight. So it was always like 100% to 1%. So if you put like 1,000 points on yes, you, would, you just w made so much <laughs> money. All right, Ryan, I'm going to roll. Okay. Is it done? It is Here done. we go. I have to mute everybody. What I even vote on? Oh, no way. That's a what one. Is oh, a wow. one. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, you just God. yelled in the game. Oh, yeah, I heard it. <laughs> there you go. Enjoy you your 10x. I did it. You're the only one not muted. He's <laughs> <laughs> right as you joined this echo. I lost 200k. <laughs> Oh, how I've fallen from the stars! A TikToker with 600,000 views to someone <laughs> losing hundreds of thousands of dollars! Oh... That's, that's good stuff. See. That's good stuff. <clears throat> oh, yeah, we gotta do this now, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I was missing London the whole time I was away. <laughs> yeah, yeah you're you're in yourself. <laughs> we'll, we'll see how you feel in like one hour and 15 minutes. <laughs> Dude, you know what I thought would be a really good bit? Is like, um, it, we're never gonna do it because it takes way too much coordination. What if you like rented a stadium in London and then uh -huh. played London in London in the stadium with no uh audience? <clears throat> That'd be sick. I'd be so down for that. I'd, I'd take it. Let's a do it. Go. Yeah, I would do it. Wow, you I am, this really is world record. On that, huh? Oh, yeah. This is world record. I am dead ass last, dude. I fucking ate shit. Oh! <laughs> fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. That, that may have been Dude, one of the closest races. That was I really good. I didn't know that the Romanian flag was just the French flag with piss on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they just been smoking around that flag for a while. <clears throat> Dog, if you think back to the 35, my dude's gonna fucking chuck, like, step 800 miles yeah, away. Yeah, I've okay, fouled by, like, 900 ship, years. No! <laughs> Let's go! Jesus. I did a Let's very go. bad job. Hi, honey. Wow, yeah. record! Oh. Hi. Well done. I meddled? I haven't meddled no. in Man. Javelin in 700 years. Honestly, this guy's meddling in Javelin. Good job. Bro. This is a very humbling <laughs> experience. As someone who was at the Met uh, this, previously this week, I, I can't believe I'm now just sitting here playing video games. Like, what am I doing with Dude, my life? Dude, what did life? you wear? Man, what did you wear? I didn't How see did you feel about the... Honey? Wow, that was a lot no, of I went to a super park. big park. Yeah, it was fun. No, it's the, I went to the Mets, the right? The screen. I thought he was talking to Ghibli, dude. I was losing my mind. So, <laughs> I was like, I don't get it. I don't get it. Why is it the park? <laughs> Sorry, we got it. I, got I think everyone kind, of, everyone kind of broke for a second. Ready? Watch Daddy swim. Okay. 
<laughs> oh, don't ever say that out of pool. Oh. Oh. It's not out of Come context. On, My kid is right next to me. I know, but like that's fine. We can still laugh at it. So that's fine. <laughs> I think could Brian be better. I'm in the first. <laughs> Coolest child in the world. You're gonna eat lunch with mommy. And Ruka's gonna eat some cat food. Ooh. What the fuck? No world Ooh, record. record. I, I meddled. I record that blue world record. Dude, this is so close. Kind of. Sorry, just. <laughs> no, it's cool. Ooh. I'm Uncle Chip. Uncle Chib, Uncle Chib. <laughs> I don't think you're Uncle Chib. Uncle Chib. You've called me Uncle Chib, you fucking asshole. Have don't I? take it back now. <laughs> yes. He's called you Uncle Chib? <clears throat> he said I'm Uncle Chib. That's a 10. Oh, don't no. take this from me. <laughs> I went in very Ooh. sideways. Give myself an 8.5 on that one. I did the little hip dance. A 9.5? You, you... Oh. Oh. I can't believe that dive put me in fourth. Fine, I'm not Uncle Chib. <laughs> I'll call you Uncle Chib. You can be Uncle Chib. No. no. Watch Daddy swim. Ooh, I've got a perfect score going on right now. How fucked up is society that when you say watch Daddy swim, the majority of people think it's like lewd somehow? Literally because of the word daddy and only yeah, the word 100%. daddy. The word daddy means father. Not okay, anymore. cool. No, but like, I'm with him. I'm with him. I'm I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I'm just telling you what the issue is. You guys gotta touch some grass. As, as an uncle. I agree with you. Why are you yelling at me? <laughs> Does it really mean that I got more excited being Uncle Chib for your child than my sister's children? Probably. Well, maybe they yeah, should they gone. shouldn't call me fat. <laughs> maybe they shouldn't be mean ridiculous. to me and I would enjoy being their uncle. Oh. Absolutely, kids. Kids just say shit off the cuff, man. Luna's never been mean to me. She's been mean to me. Bant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mean to you, too. That's why I'm such a good uncle. She met Uncle Malf last Thursday. Oh. I saw the picture. Oh, so, so, um, so Malf gets to be an uncle? I've known him for like 20 years. Yeah. I don't even know if we've and? ever met. You, I think you just are gaslighting me. <laughs> we, we, Apollo introduced me to you, man. I did. I did do that. I don't know. <laughs> I agree, <laughs> agree to disagree. No, you think we met at your meet and greet, which is even more insulting because I was personally introduced in the partner well, lounge. Can you blame bro? me? I just remember there were a lot of people there, and then... Someone was like, this is Jasky and some other person. I just Jasky was not... Well, just, maybe Jasky was there, actually. <laughs> yeah, Jasky was there. I assumed you were the, you were the other person. <clears throat> we also ran into you at uh, Sushi. I remember yep. that. Yeah. Oh, so, oh, you remember when I waved at you? No. But I do remember <laughs> that <laughs> Apollo and Justin were at a table. Oh. <laughs> with other, other people. <laughs> Yikes. Damn. I don't think I want to meet you. <laughs> oh. Actually, no, oh, I do man. because you promised me. You said, you said, Chibli. I'll never forget this, by the way. So you have to do. It. You said, Chibli. I've got one more night of drinking in me, dude, in my life, and I, I'll dedicate it to you. I'll do it with you. So whenever we meet up again, we're going bar hopping until three a.m. and you're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. All right. Well, come, come to Japan with us, Ryan. I yeah. can't come to Japan with you. Why the fuck and not? Because I'm an analyst. No. <laughs> Dude, okay. like that you like streamers <laughs> trying to make their job sound more interesting? I'm an analyst. I'm just an analyst. Mm. Um, Jimmy, I think it's long. When was, that, when was that Fallout Let's Play? 2016? 2014? I've known you since 2016, yeah. man. Well, I mean, the really crazy story is how long we've known Corey. Uh, let me check my Google Calendar and see when I had a dentist appointment in uh, Metro Town. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Corey met my right wife now, at, the at the mall because I was yep. getting my teeth cleaned at, and she was just walking around. That is you want to talk about uh, kismet. Damn. Wait, how did that go? The stars aligned. I, I don't know. I oh, was I, good. I, I mean, my teeth were pretty good afterwards, but 
My I gums bled a bit. I bullied my way into the CSGO lobby during uh, the 20 or 52 hour stream. Uh, I don't even... I don't even know what happened. I just got invited. And I, I still I just have no idea how you how you managed to make <laughs> it happen. I don't know where you came from. I don't know. Dude, it's I love reading Larry. stream of friends of friends, you know. I, I really do like reading the fan theories about me because people are like, oh, he was a big fan before he joined. Like, it's kind of really cute. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know who this guy was. Like, I just got invited to play London and then I was like, oh, these people are funny. I invited you to play London. Yeah, yeah, I know. I've missed the email. But like, <laughs> yeah. did I know who Ryan yeah. was? Hell no. I knew we played Binding of Isaac. I was that guy. That is true. I did play. I Justin, Binding of Isaac. I'm, I'm so fucking focused. proud of you, He's by the way, Justin. Justin. Dude, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pass that out, man. Oh, dude, we're all perfect. Ain't nobody gonna fuck it up, right? I fucked it up. No way. I got so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a, a screenshot though? I felt like I was right on top of the target. Oh. I almost fucked up because I can hear out my door my mom yelling, Go Wheeze! Go Wheeze! <laughs> that is such a funny fucking oh scoreboard. That's really funny. This has never happened for me. Justin! Uh, you did I've it! I've never you done that. Did, you did, did it, man. it. Son of a bitch. Man, could you imagine the podium? Five people competing. Four get gold medals and one guy yeah. gets sent home. One has to <laughs> applaud from the uh, the audience. <laughs> I would be Black. scared if there was a skeet competition and someone just didn't miss the whole time. I'd be like, who are you? Like, who do you work for? There was, there, <laughs> there was a, squirt, a skeet competition. It was called the Twitter Squirt Space. Oh, oh my god. <clears throat> Oh, uh, Squirt Space. Isn't that like a uh, thing that all the YouTubers advertise all the time? Yeah, all the podcasts. Yeah, yeah, that's where you make all the it's your websites. Me when I'm in a make... skeet competition and my opponent is an anime fan. My reaction when I'm in a skeet competition and my opponent watches <laughs> anime. <laughs> Sorry. I was, you know... <laughs> the, 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 hold on, let me try again. Oh my god. Did you hear about you the baby that can run 34 miles per hour? Shut up. I didn't, but I'd like to. <laughs> it's a fucking old animal planet, uh, that fucking show. What is it? Oh, wait, the it's not real? What the hell? Something? No, it's the show where they, they, like, just, like, compared animals with, like, the most poisonous animals. Top uh, 10. It was top 10, yeah. Uh, it's like the top 10 most poisonous animals. It was it's actually like, a fun show. It's like those history channels were like, who would have won, a Roman soldier or a samurai? And then they reenact it. Oh yeah, it was wow, called I... the most extreme, wasn't it? Dude, who was, was it? Was extreme? it top ten fastest babies on the planet, or <laughs> <laughs> no? It was, it was fastest animals, and they were talking about. I think they're talking about how the baby of this animal can run like this fast. And I was like, imagine if your newborn baby could run thirty-four <laughs> kilometers an hour. Dude, fuck the T-shirt over the button wiggle shit. By the way, it doesn't work. You're putting your T-shirt over the button. No, I'm not wearing a shirt. Oh, baby. Oh, Justin. Good throw. Good throw. And that, and that is on Blackpink. Blackpink in your area! Okay, everyone's going silent him? again? Because they all hate this era of it me. Ge genuinely don't, don't like it. <laughs> Why? Watch out, the blinks are going to come for you. Ghibli. Let me let me put in my blink group chat about how much hate you're dropping on god dang black pink, dude. Why is it called blink? No. That's just their fandom, bro. I remember Kate and I were in Korea and there was a thunderstorm and then I woke up and uh, the oh. top trending topics on Twitter were all like names of boy band stars and then all the tweets were like oh my god I heard there's uh, a thunderstorm in Seoul right now please stay safe person's name <laughs> and I was just like I was losing my mind <laughs> Dude, no, they, no 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 they do that for us too did you know that I'm gonna start doing that for you Chipper <laughs> it's raining oh, in you Vancouver get... please North Alliance stay safe stay safe we don't get that many storms so I, I was looking at some uh, K-pop uh, comments on Instagram last night, and I was like, dang, why do people not talk about me like this? Like, there was one that was literally, like, a hundred lines long. 
that was like, you are loved, you are empowering, you are beautiful, you are I would amazing. not want anyone to talk to me like that, man. I'm like, man, I, I, why is no one under my tweets when I'm like, oh, just accidentally ate a piece of my poop, and someone fucking comments, you are loved, you are empowering, you're inspirational, you're beautiful. <laughs> you, you taking poppers and all the replies are like, OMG, he's so daddy. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. One of the greatest comedy moments in like my week-to-week -week life is uh, opening Pokemon Go when I go outside and then getting seven pop-ups that are like, there's a hurricane in your area, are you okay? Oh. And then looking up and it being like the most beautiful day of all time. Extreme weather warning, please click, mark yourself safe. And I'm like, I'm safe. And then I go for a two-hour walk. Oh, it's God. just because there's a I'm Rayquaza in the area, bro. <laughs> oh, <laughs> snuck in. Hey, he did man. sneak in. Netherlands, more like Midlands, bro. Midlands? So true. Yeah. Huh. I didn't think of it that way. They call them the low countries. They should call them the mid countries. <laughs> oh. Amen. <laughs> Never been. Damn. Damn. Ryan, you have a chance to... Shut the, oh, shut the fuck oh. up! Shut the fuck oh, up! Oh my fucking god! Snake. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The wind has been very kind today. No, it just got a little crazy for me. But my first nine shots were all exactly the same wind. But now it's seriously now it's getting hot in here. Take off all your clothes, am I right? Who's noise gate just started going off? I heard a vacuum. Nine, maybe I don't know. Maybe it's a storm in my area. Oh, let's oh I'm go. so good. Maybe no, Blackpink is in my area. I needed you to fuck area. up. I did not do it. I you motherfucker. Ryan is Ryan really missed, but you're not beating him. Yeah, I'm unbeatable. No, Ryan missed. I'm unbeatable. No, he yeah. missed. No, Ryan missed. Ryan, fuck up. <laughs> Ryan did fuck up. Ryan fucked up, I think. Oh, no, he got a two. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Ooh, the wind was really hard. <laughs> he just oh, keeps wow, giving us that. fucking London bangers all day long, man. The he wind can't stop. was really hard. <laughs> oh, my God. What a sound. Oh. oh my god, I opened Hoborat's Steam account. Okay, let me read some more comments, oh, I guess. Here we like go. I did this is time. PewDiePie's uh, Twitter account, for real. Um, Small update, I think you had a bug. Uh, where, where you got all the challenge items, so I don't remember you beating the purest large marge or seven years bad luck. Oh shit, I just gave spoilers. <laughs> 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 I took my mom Dude. out for a, a brunch when I was in my hometown as well. Where'd you go? Oh. We went to a restaurant in my hometown called Shea Piggy. Okay. <laughs> it's good though, it's pretty good. Yeah, what a name though. Did, uh, did you ride your tricycle there? No, we walked. <laughs> Oh, I don't even get it. The time the picture of you. Walk. In, uh, oh, a well, because I rode a tricycle once. Now every every single thing I do has to be on a tricycle. Yep. Oh, you were at every home. Go with your, <laughs> what a what a epic like what a great fucking gag by Kate, dude. Yeah, it was That's good. so I yeah, thought it was so cute. That's, That's so, was so really cute. Good. It's so funny because like as people were starting to tell me about it, I was like, oh. I was like, yeah, scared. Yeah, I don't know how I feel exactly, about a dev yeah, just yeah. doing that. And then they're like, no, 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 no. Kate was in it. I was like, oh, that's adorable. Guys, old record's nine. If you don't get nine, like, it is blame Kate. I'm not that good at this event. Oh! What? Oh, that's a world record. If I I'm so mad. Go 10 meters over keep, the line. I keep faulting. I, I can't hold stop. My breath. I gotta hold my breath. My I'll do it too. Do the military sleeping technique. The Russian sleep experiment? What? Dude, my brain's just bad. I keep going over the line every time. My dude just won't go jump. big or go home. What the fuck? No, no. No, no, no. I don't accept. that, Ryan? I wasn't over. I saw your toe over the line. It didn't touch the ground over. Everybody goes over the line. That's the way you do your jump. I swear to God, it he just refused to jump that time. I think I pressed it so early it didn't register. What the heck? 
Hope we're at. No, I'm getting a nine right now. I'm done. I'm Wait, getting a nine. Wait, what the fuck? My awesome jump. Well, Wait, what the heck? He's cheating. His toes are shorter than mine. Oh, oh, look at that jump. I got my first oh. jump in, guys. Oh, oh, oh boy! Fucking <laughs> dumb, bro. Dude, I was knocking on the door. I was knocking on the door. Dude, I think we got a world record in real life. We can break. Mm, let me Google it. Uh, world record for longest time in a cave. <laughs> Sixty-nine days. <clears throat> Dude, 69 case. 69 what? Oh wait, no, what? that's that's trapped underground. Okay, no, 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 I don't want that. There's, no, 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 no. There's a world record for like some lady was just like, I'm gonna live in a cave for uh, like a hundred and something days. And then, uh, and then she was like, I started hallucinating because uh, there is no light. I can't see anything, and I hallucinated. But like, uh, we could do that. Didn't people just like do that? Delayed start. Yeah. It was on purpose, by the way. This isn't insensitive. Approaching 25 meters and already okay, fuck me. I'm busy. Okay. My controller is vibrating so much, I'm going to stick it in my ass, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool, I was in first and I fucked myself. Thanks you for that. Wait, how, no one can ask me. I'm perfect. He said thanks you. <laughs> I did. Shut up. <laughs> uh, Apollo. Rook. Why are you fucking? <laughs> <laughs> There's a dog in the stadium, Apollo. I'm not gonna fuck. You can't. You can't get in my head. You cannot get in my head. Somebody passed me. I'm going perfect. I'm. I'm. I'm just too far. Yeah. You can't. You can. Nah. Nah. Congratulations. Congratulations. New world record. You came in second place. <laughs> No, oh, I already know I'm fucked, dude. What the hell are you doing? Oh, oh God! <laughs> okay. I just saw yours, Ryan. Wow. wow. What happened, man? <laughs> oh, Wait, you oh. got a 14? Damn. Why Did they let you, you do it again? <laughs> let me do it again. Wait, what wow. do you mean you do it again? What the happened? first time I didn't hit the button right, and it just, like, pulled me down to earth on my back, and my dude went like, <laughs> oh. dude, let me go again. Oh, oh, hell, dude. <laughs> I've never wow. seen that animation before. That's incredible. Wow, oh. I know I've been happen. studying Ryan's kayak runs. Oops. Oh, oh yeah? No. I, I, you, okay. Give me the secrets. What are the secrets? Like, kind of like, do it like you're an AI. Like, play like an NPC what? a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's so weirdly insulting. It is very insulting. <laughs> well, like, no, he just plays it really default and it works well. What are you talking about? I just go through the gates. Exactly. Huh. Interesting. Fuck. I fell over. I'm hitting these perfect angles, but I'm... I'm uh... I keep jumping very early. At least Justin is jumping patriotically. What does this mean? 1776, folks. Gross. <laughs> oh, you don't support the American Revolution? What, you're a big fan of England? Yeah, big, big up Britain guy. He's, yeah, he's I was a, at the he's grocery a store. Queen guy. Yeah. While I was living in Florida, oh. I was at the grocery store, and there was a guy with uh, 1776 knuckle tattoos. Oh, oh, yeah. and he goes, nice tattoos. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks I'm one of him. Dude. <laughs> Someone did that to me? Oh, just kidding. I can't make another poop joke. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you're at your quota. Yeah. I'm, I, 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 people are calling me the poop guy too much. They're like, I nice don't poop want emoji tattoo? There go, yeah, they go, there goes the poop guy. But no, I was going to say I like poop to on him. In him. On his thing. I, poop, I took his cupcake. I took his tray of cupcakes out and I ate one and I poop on it. My guy looks so much like Jeremy. I fell on my ass. I fell on my ass. Points total. Dude, Jerma would be the type of dude, like, when the next Olympics starts, bro, like, he's unannounced, he's gonna show up and be in, like, one of the events. Well, he's doing really well on the track he would do that. Oh, superb. Okay, trying to farm an LSF clip, could have gone viral if you guys reacted. <laughs> what? Mm, they don't, like, 
No, whatever. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not gonna. <laughs> Ryan, pull up the oh, photo. Because you know I'm a mod there. Yeah. Uh... What if instead I mean, I didn't of brush my teeth? What what if instead of high jump being like you just raise the bar? What if the bar stays at like two point two, but you have to take a bong hit before each attempt? <laughs> it's not about who can jump the highest. It's about who can jump the highest. Justin's gonna kill it, dude. Oh my god, you you fuckers, you I hate you fuckers. Being. Can someone stop body blocking me? It's actually against the fucking rules, man. Just clean race. Ryan's in oh. front, we're all doomed. Oh, no, I beat him. Oh, he's oh, oh, bye! Bye bye! No, stop that. It's not fair, he's got the yellow jersey. He does. Who the fuck is blocking me on the goddamn curb, man? I need you to make a push so I can make a push. You make a push so I can make a push. I got nothing left. I got nothing make left. Make a push, you motherfucker. It's, uh, it's I too easy. No. From fourth to first. He didn't make a push. <laughs> There's nothing left in the tank. How could there be nothing left in the tank? It was like 40 seconds left in the what? race. <laughs> he, had, he had nothing left in his boost. Oh I was waiting for this dude God. to make a push so I can make a push. He never made a push. Hey, Why didn't you just push? Because hey, if I push, hey, you're just going to block me and then I'm going to come in fifth. <laughs> That is true. Hurry up! Can I get a chop cheese? Oh, fuck. Oh, Go. Me, I can't Guys, concentrate. God damn it. I'm going oh. for a better jump than you. Me too. I, okay, wait. I, I like intentionally I fucked my speed lock and it was still almost perfect. Yeah, that's why I'm like, I don't know what you guys are doing to your speed no, lock. You could do anything up. to it. Are you, what are you going to say is different in men's what? and in women's? I, dude, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with it, all right? Look, this game is buggy. It could easily be all messed up. You wouldn't know. This game is perfect. All I keep hitting up. perfect angles and it, it's killing me. But I also did put it a lot higher than that. Dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like run up to the refs uh, table and RKO one of them straight to the <laughs> table. I don't know what the fuck. Just jump onto their table. Yep. And this could be a difficult decision. I'm gonna jump over the haters. Dude, look at their ponytail when they run. But why are there judges in high oh, jump you don't have anyway? Ponytail. The judge has been replaced by a bar. That's true. I the angle's gone, man. I can't get I it anymore. I understand what Ah, angle. my cheeks are too big, man. A new world record. Me and my big oh. ass over here. You fucker, suck you. <laughs> Eat my shorts, suck brother. Oh. Holy Ryan. I think women's high jump is a little bit easier. Whoa, he lower. said it, not me. Well, because they don't jump as high. Whoa, well, five, five. <laughs> Rise, <Christ>, man. <laughs> what? I'm just looking at the numbers. <laughs> I'm not coming back. <laughs> I'm not coming back. Okay, maybe I shouldn't say they can't, just they haven't yet. Ooh, You're an asshole. I, You're an asshole. I hate this event. I, I hate this event so fucking much. Yeah, Ryan hates it too, apparently. <laughs> I love this event, man. Holy cow. That's a new world record. I had like a perfect race. Oh, come on! It's unbelievable. I'm gonna fucking... Oh, I'm gonna piss in your fucking bed. I don't give a fuck. I do it all the time. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got plastic God. sheets. Oh. Plastic cheeks? Sheets. Oh, that makes more sense. Dude, there was a time where I thought I was pissing myself every night. Yeah? But I think I was just having, like, horrible, cold, like, nightmare sweats. Yeah, oh, Because yeah, I was like, happens. if I pissed myself, there's no way I got piss on my own head. <laughs> That's a good point. I mean, I wake up, I got out. my piss all over my long balls, but my bed's like completely dry. Is <laughs> <laughs> this pulled up in the balls? Do you all ever get paranoid if you pee in a dream? 
Yes. Because <laughs> I've definitely had dreams where, like, I've taken a full-on piss. And Dude. I wake up and I'm, like, really? patting the bed everywhere around me. Like, oh, my oh, my God. Oh, my oh my God. I hope I didn't just pee okay. everywhere. Best drive I've ever fucking had. You gotta go see a therapist, <laughs> man. Dude, Why? you're pissing in your dreams? Yeah. Dude, That's you supposed, do to be, you. supposed to be a relief from that kind of stuff. What do you think pissing is? <laughs> then explain why I, I have dreams about working all the damn time. I, I launched it so far, and I crossed the threshold by, like, a millimeter. Bro, I, like, I've never wanted to speak to, like, life's manager more than whenever I have, like, a school dream. I'm like, dude, I'm 30. Like, I don't need this in my, like, sleep right now, all right? <laughs> it's been so long. You showing up in your dream lecture and you think it's a lecture, but then they pass back the midterm that you didn't take. And then you're like, what's up with that? And you're like, oh, you didn't take the midterm. And you're like, oh, no. Dude, honestly, no, they've evolved to the same kind of like boring outcome, which is like, I guess better than it being really stressful. But it's like, I'm at school and I'm like, oh, I didn't do any oh. of the work. Oh, no. And then like five seconds later, I'm like, I'm a streamer. I don't have to be here. And then I just leave. Well, dude, yeah. lucid dreaming. <laughs> it's, it's, well, no, it's not even that. It's just like, it's just the same fucking dream every time. Anytime I get realization that I'm in a dream, I lose the dream. I have a Guaranteed. lot of recurring dreams about oh, crashing off a cliff. That's scary, Jim. I got used I've to never it. really dreamed. It's kind of nice. I've never won this stupid fucking event before. Let's go. Damn. I think I found new tech. I think if you pull You're in last stick... place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I've discovered something. I was doing testing is why I'm in last place. Oh. If you pull back straight, I think the bar goes down faster so you can um, start the throw later. Next up at the Olympic Stadium, then medals are on the line. Okay. Keep that in mind. <laughs> okay. Oh shit. Sure. It's because I'm, because I'm not playing Mexico. Oh, I missed. Dad, the women's ones are faster, I think. Let's have a look on the double. That's what they always say. <laughs> women just Do keep that. faster. No, that's uh, no one says that. Yeah, I don't think anyone well, said no I, I one. Just, no one's ever no? said it ever. Really? Dudes infamously come in like 0.5 seconds. It's that's evolutionarily fast. advantageous to. Wait, come fast. why are you talk? Why are you talking about come? <laughs> You're the one talking oh. about you, dude. It's you what did this. I, don't fucking you, lie. I'm talking about the skeet event. No, you're fucking trolling. You're gaslighting <laughs> me. Actually, it's kind of disgusting. I don't know what gaslighting is. Oh my god! Look he at just made it up. He just made it. <laughs> does, up. does this dude play Among Us? Like, what the hell? Oh, that one was tough. I'm, I'm telling you, the women's ones are faster. You can make jokes all you want. You sure? It's I didn't not say just I you being distracted. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Any number of things. Hang, hang on, I have to get this. <laughs> that, joke, up. that joke does not work for me. <laughs> it could. I don't know, man. I almost did something really evil. I'm sorry. What are you going to do? <clears throat> hang on, I need to get the streams up for my faves. Uh, hey, Alexa, play Kill This Love by Blackpink. Okay, oh, he's always up with the frisbees. There. Why would I be distracted everyone... by those, though, if I'm shooting them? No, I everyone was, the everyone listening on the Yeah, sorry. I, I, you almost had me there. Like Everyone listening oh, no, on the Justin. speakers no. is playing Blackpink now. I, I'll, I can leave if you guys want. <laughs> what the hell? I'm losing. <laughs> yeah, you missed a single one. You can't do that. I'm just done. You know who hasn't missed a single yet? Blackpink. Hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, true. They don't miss. Damn. Who's your bias, Ryan? Mm, Lucy. No. Try again. G U. No, no. Say like Lisa. Say Lisa. Lisa Simpson. No, no. So Lisa, <laughs> just say like Lisa or Jenny or something. I refuse. Who's your bias, right? Because what it wasn't. Didn't one of them wear a QAnon shirt? Oh shit, huh. that's right. No, that wasn't Blackpink. No. Oh, that was twice. That was twice. Yeah, man. Hey, who's your bias, right? I mean, she wore it twice, but also she's in the band twice. Maybe it was named after it? how many times she wore the 
QAnon shirt. What does the question "Who's your bias" mean? Uh, who who do you relate? Who's your fave? Who do you relate to the most? I relate to the one that only sings like they, they don't sing at all in the song, but after the rapping part, they go like pow and they make like a gun with their hands and then they just dance the rest of the time. That's they do, they do, do that. That's a backup dancer, bro. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Nine for the first shot. I'm gonna lose my mind. I got two nines, dude. No. Just no, hold on. Just hold no, on. Before, no. before, before the timing is fucked, Justin, can you look at Discord? Uh, oh, that shit talking me. That shit talking me. It's, really? You're in the channel. I t whatever. I, I'm going to lose because of this. Oh my God. No, I recovered. We're fine. It's six seconds. Oh, wow. That shit talking so me. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yep. Fuck Chipley. Sick of the shit. Oh, That's what he said right there. See it. Seems to be a lot of people giving me the middle finger emoji. Well, there's not much breathing room that was yeah, because you won't ago. pick a bias, that bro. That was cool. Very, very tight. I liked when we were all flipping off Riot. Here we go. Just say Jenny, man. <laughs> she went to the mid. I'm going to make a big event. recovery here. Oh, what? <laughs> I forgot it was the four-second one, so I set up for the six-second one and ran out of time. Oh, oh, I was doing so good. Kill me. Jesus kill me. Christ, Ryan. <laughs> Ryan, dude, you're not going to be catchable if you get over 52. I don't get performance anxiety. Don't fuck up, Ryan. Don't do it. Actually, maybe you'd be Jisoo, because Jisoo's the best at video games in the group. So. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit. <laughs> I fell off. Oh, oh no, first Justin. place. I fell off. I fell Men's off. 25 Three meter rapid fuck. fire pistol PB. Dude, he's, he's figured it out. I saw Dave Grohl at a bowling alley once. No, you Dude, what'd you do? He's really good at bowling. <laughs> really? <laughs> was it in LA? I think you're making up No, no, it was story. in New Zealand. It was in New, New Zealand, Zealand, but uh, him and the dude he was bowling with, he looked like Dave Grohl, and they both had American accents. So I think it actually was just Dave. You sure there wasn't just someone who looked like Dave Grohl? You know, there's like from America in America. New Zealand. No man, it was Dave. Oh, it's just a he does kind of look story. like every guy. No, he doesn't. He looks like Dave Grohl. I can't. I can't. Dude, the game won't let me hit 75. The fucking last it was 74. Power lock, my ass. I fucked. I fucked up the power. Ooh. Oh, good. congratulations. Cool. I can't get a perfect one. Damn, mm -hmm. if I should tell people to power lock my ass. <laughs> yeah. I'm no. trying to bring back Eat My Shorts. Good trying. Enough. Yeah. Because yeah. I used to Maybe say try, Eat My Shorts, and this. then people were like, it's too violent. Violent? Was, violent? Well, it is, because they're going to die. Maybe not. Or at least I mean, get, like, you, really beat, you beat can be low back to arm short. Yeah, but I needed can. like medical attention. God, you've said what? that stupid thing so much that even Chibli remembers the name of it now. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't stupid. I was in... That was a really bad shape. You should tell people, uh, eat my hair. He almost died. <laughs> I think that's a good nice. one. I want to do karaoke. Did you go to Coachella, Ryan? Well, or did you get your fucking tickets yet, man? I'm figuring it out. <laughs> You're running out of time. I know. This, this guy, I'm figuring it out. I'm figuring it out. I'm figuring Dude. it out. We just talked last night about it. I haven't, I haven't you, done anything since then. You say you don't want to do karaoke? I do. He does. Do oh, he does. Okay. I I've never heard Justin even close to singing, so I'm really interested. Would you even be funny. like I do. I know any of the songs? That yeah, are exactly. In the I was say, book? It, it'd be really funny <laughs> to see him choose a song. They got. They'll have Nirvana in there. They nah, have Nirvana. Queen, Queen easy in. Oh, you, I guess kind of a. Queen. It's a tough song, man. They do have a uh, song. Any have Queen song peppers. is probably going to be difficult. <laughs> No 311, though. They there might be. Yeah. I, I tell you, there's not. <laughs> oh, it depends on the He looked. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I looked. Fuck. What else? You're going to end up being the guy at karaoke that is like singing the Christmas songs at the back of the book. <laughs> <laughs> the only time I went to a karaoke bar, it was the shittiest bar I've ever been to. Someone sat on my hand and passed out. And well, it's then very there different was a, in America. There was a guy wearing uh, glasses inside at midnight. 
Yeah. Like they were like uh, the all over visor glasses, and he insisted everyone refer to him as Edge. And he just did two songs all night. Dude, what that's the uh, that's the guy from U2. Yeah, it was him. It was just was Edge. he there with the guy that looked exactly like Dave Grohl? <laughs> if they have American, if they had American accents, it was definitely them, bro. Definitely. They wouldn't have American accents. <laughs> Dave Grohl is American. <laughs> no, it's fucking Edge and uh, Bono aren't. It's very true. Who the from fuck Ireland. is Bono? <laughs> <laughs> it's a YouTube man. You know, I Man's wish almost I, named I wish Bono, I could bro. <sighs> I wish I didn't know who he was. You wish you didn't know who Bono was? Yeah, what, do you sucks. wish you were in a coma for like forty-five years? Isn't, kinda. Isn't Bono the the Minecraft YouTuber that was the most? Probably. What? That, what is the what is the what is the what? Oh, Rambo. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Man, that was uh, Rambo. Chibli, if you were uh, a cat, uh, how would you order a steak for me? Uh, probably like well done. Oh no, probably like just just raw. All right, what cut do you want? Oh, I don't know. Look, I'm the the rib the T bone. What's happening? Right. I'm on it. He's Where? making him a, Chibli's a cat, apparently. I'm making him a damn steak. steak for Chibli the cat. Medium rare. I feel like I pictured you as a cat, maybe, when I met you. Me too. Everyone thought I was either a baddie or a fucking furry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely <laughs> thought both at some point. Why'd you say fucking at the beginning of the next one? Why, 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 Everyone thought why, I was a fucking oh. baddie or a fucking furry, why, bro. Why was there so much an aggression behind the second one? I don't understand. No, it's legit. Everyone thinks I'm those two things when they don't know who I am. Meanwhile, I'm just a slime. I'm a slime guy. Oh, you're a slime guy. Never really hear I'm much slime about slime guy. guys, honestly. Yeah, it's true. Dude, Which says a lot the, about the slime girl community. Dude, there was a confession on the slime subreddit that um, during r slash place when they kept take like when my slime character's clothes kept falling off and she kept spawning in nipples. That was a jump, dude. That was that was the subreddit. The man they were trying to take her clothes off. It was the slime subreddit. Damn. They wanted they wanted to free the nip. What I is went into all of it. What's the slime community? Well, I don't want to say it because I don't want everyone to go there. But it's a subreddit where people just... Like, I opened it like a month ago, and the first post I saw was like a slime girl like with a penis in her ear. Huh. And you could see the penis because she's made out of slime. So, like, it's all... You can see straight through her. Did, uh... Does the slime community really like the original Super Mario Brothers movie? No. Oh. Okay, we have to pivot topic. Ruka peed outside? Six rounds then. You peed outside of the litter box? Yeah. Charmander. Charmander, Charmander. Congratulations. A real sense of accomplishment for Romania, who finished second in this event, and take home silver. Dried up, stained, deep, and it was very gross. It's like splashed everywhere. Oh no. I don't know how he managed to, like, do that. I think, like, he Hope he's okay. I the best of us. This is the final of the men's triple jump. Last four Olympic Games have seen four different gold medal winners in the triple jump. USA, hey, you. GB, don't do that. I, ha Portugal. I have they also been using Yeah, that, that'll box. get him. Hey, I'm back. What happened? First attempt. Hey. Oh, your cat pee. I have... I have also been using that litter box, so <laughs> I'm sorry if that maybe it was me. Well, it sounds like the problem is that you weren't using the litter box. You yeah. I get yeah. nervous. <laughs> no, okay. I heard someone coming and I just panicked. <laughs> I have goddamn roulette poop, dude. You never know what the hell that shit's gonna look like. Roulette poop. Like, not oh, to be TMI, oh, I, but I... Is it normally oh. red or black? I don't get oh. it, man. You, roulette oh, table? roulette. Oh, I, do, I got it right after I said I didn't get it. Yeah. Is it didn't. normally uh, 1 or the 36? <laughs> no? That one's not funny? Say 36. Whatever. I thought it was cool. Oh. 
Ooh. Well, it looked cooler than it was, I guess. I'm not even playing this game anymore. Dude, yeah, you're you just guys... about poop. Fruit Loops makes your poop green. Well, it makes my poop green anyway. I don't know if that's all really? across the board. I don't think that's board. normal. Call that a double zero. Tangerines. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> he's cooking with these, man. He's good. I got I to keep feeding them, man. He's good. Dude, Costco update. They have Fruit Loops at Costco now. World record. Bro, Costco stopped emailing me. I'm sorry. I think they're mad at me. Executive member. Look, all right. I'm going to do it this time. I have to. No, you're not. <laughs> How do you turn without using the triggers? You don't want to hear my answer to that. This is going to be sound the insulting. <laughs> Tell me. Tell me. Turn the joystick. Okay, no, and you, turn the, two, you turn the joystick. Bucks. I was wrong. It's two bucks. It doesn't work that way. Justin. You drift too much. Well, then time it better. No. Well, you're in a boat. you got to ride the rapids a little bit. I don't like it. Everyone else is so quiet now. Well, I know. I, look, I, you have to falter. I can't beat you. Like, you get below 70 every time. I never have. Man, I'm already a second behind. Oh, I hit a gate. <laughs> yeah, is it still going to get the fastest this time? Yeah, well, I I'm going to come in third. I'm so pissed. Then. I'm I turning did, so slowly. I did so bad. Like, Chibli should have this. No, I'm not man, even going to finish. I'm doing horribly. Oh, good. You're not going to finish? My left trigger doesn't work. When I try to use it, my guy just starts flailing. Like, it's... I don't think that's a button. It is. To turn left. I'm a sick and no, a half like behind a fucking Ryan button. Gary, bro. No, but I'm saying, like, he doesn't hold it down and turn. He just starts flailing his arms in the air as if I'm, like, oh. mashing it, you know? I'm just going to race to the end again because it's already over for me. I don't think my guy knows how to fucking kayak. But yeah, I, I get my left left trigger, I make nice full circles. Right trigger, I just mash my stick in the air. I don't how know how to get qualified for this. How the fuck? I was fucking cooking on that one. <laughs> oh, Dude, man. I did another PB. I'm still so fucking sick of so everybody. I'm literally trying to turn out of this, but I can't. I just reported your Steam account. <laughs> <laughs> it's genuinely upsetting. Oh, he got a penalty and still won. I mean, that by was... two seconds. Are you guys using your... I'm pressing every button, man. I don't know. using your boost? Like, I, I go to the... Yeah, I go Are you using your boost around? immediately so that you can use it as many times as possible throughout the course? Yeah, yeah. and I use it to make sure I get through the fucking... Do you use it on the turnaround gates? I just use it whenever it's ready, brother. What the fuck? Is that what I'm doing wrong? I use it to get through the reverse gates because it's so damn hard. Oh, at, least, at least I, at least Kieran's on my over. at least Kieran, Kieran's on my side. All right, I'm, I'm over just, on this. I just I don't lost. I, dude, I can I win from fourth, Chibli. I've won from last before. All right, you gotta believe in yourself. I've won from last too, but everyone loves to just fucking break check me like I'm a piece of shit on the highway. Also, I forgot you meant to tap A, not hold it. So I already fell behind like a second. Oh no. Well, some Italy, oh, motherfucker. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, blue dude just went through me somehow. I saw that. That was me. Ah, uh, uh, no, Italy, um, no. Okay, dude, no, I can't no, even catch up broke? to. Who hit the brakes? Why are you checking me in fourth, man? Like Jesus Cause, Christ! Because I'm in third. <laughs> 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 oh my god, I keep going through people! <laughs> oh no! What is happening? Oh. I keep getting... oh, I've never been in first! Go away! Go away! Come on! No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I went from last to second on the last corner, I'll take it! Oh, oh, I snake. You don't know what I do! I was I was mad max at the front. I was I did there was a different dude behind me every two seconds. Bro, Bro, I literally went from so last fast. to first oh on the God. last corner, on the last straight oh. corner, dude. I literally cut up the fucking lanes oh, like I was driving incredible. a BMW. You went through so fast. Ryan was in fourth place instead oh. of taking the overtake on third. He fucking tried to Because I can't take third and he, until third time yeah, tries to take second. Fucking, you fucking missed it. That's the worst part. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Deftons. Incredible. I told you to believe in yourself, man. What do we even do? Tons? I don't even know. <laughs> it's over, dude. 353, man. We have another hour left, man. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> now that I, don't uh, tease me. That legit uh, gave me, out, me a dude. panic attack. Yeah, yeah I was, I was like, like what? dude, I can't play another hour long. Yeah. We've been doing so well though. We've been setting world records in like every event. Yeah, we're no, all of these events have been very close. Chibli's been fucking over the running events, dude. Yep. I had such a good start. I'm in last. No! Holy what shit! What the fuck was that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was uh, the best run of my tied. life. It came in we tied. We tied with the new world record. Yeah, I know. Oh, this. This. We're both doing the... We're in sync with each other. We're we're kissing the sky and falling down at the same time nice. again. We're doing Mine crunches. wasn't even a world record. What the hell? Oh, man. Oh, my God. Oh, here we go. I panicked. Holy fuck. I'm, I'm pulling out the fucking barbed wire. Oh, what? That passed at the same time. Oh, no. Dude, someone's you pushing me out wide, bro. Don't fucking, don't fucking come up here. How am I getting fucking iced and diced, man? Don't fucking come up here. <laughs> I, I, I've lost my touch, man. I don't know what happened. You guys got good. I came up it's here. Over. That's the best I ever did in my life. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, and now you I'm gonna finish. Through. Wait a minute. Oh. You wait sneaky minute. fuckers. You wait, sneaky fuckers. Oh. wait a minute. Wait a fucking minute, dude. No. We team up. We can get wait. it. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. I, I got die. stuck I on die. someone, bro. <laughs> I was Dude, in first for so long. Ch Chibli went out of bounds, man. That's bullshit. <laughs> me he and Ryan me. created like a new goddamn magnetic field <laughs> on the end there. We were stuck <laughs> on each other. God. Oh my god. Oh, hey, run, a, run another. It uh... So rough and tumble. <laughs> Oh my god. Run up run up a run up a hurdles real quick. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm leaving. I'm you, can do, you can do hurdles yourself, dude. I gotta pee. If he's leaving, I'm putting kayaking on there. Yeah, do oh, it, man. I'll one v one Ryan and kayaking. I'll, 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 I'll try I if as soon as I hit a pole, I'm all tip for it. You just go. I, I don't know how to. I think I'm not hiding my left, any tech. So I can't do a left turn with the trigger. I think so that that should affect you left, like one percent. That should make your time one percent slower. I don't. You don't use them when you have to turn around into these shit ones. Not really. Ne not I really. Fu I fucked up horribly. You ever use it? You have to use it. Do this without I'm touching. Three the seconds behind. Okay, maybe five percent. It ruins you on the turnarounds on the right. I don't. Think I hit so. two gates, bro. It's over for me. I still haven't hit a gate, so I'm still here. I always hit Stonehenge. Well, I'm in second, and I'm five seconds behind. Oh, never mind. I'm like choking for real too. Bullshit. I am. I do. It's been. It's been kind of washed. Everyone in chance laughing at me. Choke on this. Don't <laughs> eat my shorts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> eat my hair. I'm gonna start saying it. Let me make it catch on. Cause it's nasty. It but it's not nasty. horny. I don't want to do that. It's nasty, but it's not like horny or offensive. Yeah. Is short horny? I can't. I came, I came sick another, with four that's penalties. My, that's my I think third. shorts can be misinterpreted. So Wait, I beat Ryan's time, but Dude, I. This is my third on. PB today. That's the best I've ever done. <laughs> Wait, that ahead. is the best time I've ever got. It's not my PB. I lied to you. Run it back. Run it back. Nope. You want to do <laughs> no. Yeah, run it back. Run it back. Run it back. Run it. Back. I'll do one well. Run it back. You guys are racing yourselves. Oh yeah, we're doing it, baby. This is history right here. Are you really? Yeah, we're doing. We're one v one. Let me speak. get fucking serious. Let me get fucking serious. <clears throat> I'm leaning forward. What I'm turning on both? black pink. In there at the same time. I got black pink on. I'm watching. You can't sue me. I'm watching them too. I gotta learn some tactics. Yeah, yeah. I need to see this. He didn't boost. Now he's boosting. I hit the first gate. Can we restart? <laughs> no, I saw him use his trigger a little bit. Wow, he's, he's using a lot there. He's using a lot of trigger. Huh. Not that much. He used the. I mean, the thing is, uh, I think any is a lot. He's using it like quite a bit on. Ooh, right there. 
I think you guys just don't know how to drive. This is not driving. It's kind of similar. I'm it's not you, at all. I'm going to get a controller where the left trigger works and it's over. You're in a vehicle traveling through a medium. That's every mode of transportation. Mm, yeah. I mean, I, I'm sure you're watching this and you're like, it doesn't look that impressive. It doesn't look any different than what I'm doing, and yet you're doing it four <laughs> seconds faster. Man, if I didn't get penalty, did that. That, that was, was a pretty beautiful. good one. That was a pretty yeah, solid. That one. was pretty beautiful. If I didn't get penalty, bro, <clears throat> I wouldn't. I wouldn't have beat you. Ooh, dude. dude, he was dude, right if I didn't in get there. Penalty. Holy Run it back. Run it back. Run it back. I'm sorry, Come but on. I've got to go. <laughs> no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Uh, crazy. Oh, there four. Come on. there four. Oh, what's a minute to you, dude? You can't lend me a minute. Shine your shoes, sir. One minute. Oh, man. Hey, next oh, week, we'll, we'll run it back again. Dude, at the Chiv, end. he's got the new tech. Next week, it's I'm, I'm coming in hot. New controller. Yep. I haven't. I don't like have one. I have to get one. Oh. I probably won't get one. You guys ever get oh. uh, one point one three kilograms of salted cashews at Costco? No. 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 Mm. Huh. Something a <laughs> some, something an asshole would say. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this product may contain <laughs> small shell pieces. What the hell? Ingredients. Cashews they got no faith in their product. May contain cashews. Very do you true. Do you ever agree to a stream and you realize that the stream is like three hours after you normally end? And you're like, oh. Oh, no. Is it London? Uh, no. We're, <laughs> play, we're playing Clue. Oh! Cluedo? Cluedo. That's a fun one. But not for three hours. That's pretty cool. Well, <laughs> have fun. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say, "Well, it's Jong," and I was like, "Oh no, yeah, I yeah, leave. yeah, yeah." And then you were just like, "Well, fuck you." <laughs> See you later, idiot. You yeah, know, I actually, I, I was gonna end my stream. All right, well, you get out of wow, here, dude. man. I got you to here. too. I believe in you, and I know, and See I believe guys. that. Later. Bye, everyone. I love you. Bye, bye. bye. In solidarity with the strike from the Writers Guild of America, I've decided to pivot my stream from its normally scripted format to be 100% improv until the strike is, uh, abates. So now I'm just eating cashews and engaging in witty repartee. Hi, Tomo. It's crazy how Netflix is unaffected by their writer's strike because they already fired all the writers that worked at the network after House of Cards Season 2. All right, I'm sure Kate is live, or she will be live soon. I'm going to send you over there. I'll be live tomorrow. What are we doing tomorrow? Good question. Maybe something similar to what we did today, if I had to guess. So I'll see you then. Hello, am I am I live? Jokes on you! I wasn't live, and you gave me gift subs. Jokes on you! Thank you, Ryan, for the raid, and also you, Watanabe. Thank you very much for the gift sub. Thank you, thank you. The joke is always on me. Does that mean then you're a joker? <laughs> Care. Now I want to see, like Ryan says, oh, I think Kate is going to go live soon. And then he raid me. And then I don't stream. But would Watanabe totally <laughs> give some? <laughs> of course I would. Oh man, good stuff. Chad, I posted um the the playground slide.
that launched me <laughs> launch me across launch me across the playground there was nothing that i could have like able to grasp in order to like stop myself from like launching out and i got i got launched out and just like landed on my bum and also on my shoulder and also on my back like all three parts of my body at the same time it was uh it was no fun i think they really need to i mean the playground looked really really old it doesn't it doesn't look like it had any like maintenance have done like any any time like any like within like 10 years i don't think there was any like maintenance happened in this playground and this slide i don't know why it was insanely slippery and fast and i thought it was just me being like dumb <laughs> and i was like oh maybe it's just me dumb or something but i saw like so many kids and babies they were launched off they just like flew out of that thing and all the babies were crying and everything and i was like dude i'm pretty sure it's this ride it's this freaking <laughs> it's it's effed up man and then in the same playground you would not believe they have a rock climbing rock <laughs> it's a it's a big rock or boulder like huge boulder and they have like rock climbing thing attached to it so so that the kids can do rock climbing but it's not you know how like kid friendly rock climbing thing is very like flat and um i don't know like not difficult uh this one may i say it was impossible for even for me <laughs> even for me it was impossible so i don't even know i don't even know who that rock climbing thing was designed for and it was not easy i don't know who it was for probably for like teenagers i guess i don't know anyone who wants to get hurt i guess i'm pretty i was like i'm pretty sure if um like uh if anyone like were to do safety check on any of the equipments that they were there i think like the the spinny slide was okay but my god anything other than <laughs> spinny slide i'm pretty sure they need to like scrap those also another uh horrifying story you know how i told the story on ryan's stream but tomo hasn't pooped so tomo finally pooped yesterday thank god i was about to call the vet and then he pooped and i was like hallelujah and i think i might have found the reason why he didn't poop i was um vacuuming the house and i was gonna vacuum because like the litters they they go behind the litter box and they go everywhere so I usually pull out the litter box and vacuum underneath and around it. And when I did, the like the the back of the litter box was touching a wall. And just on that wall, there was just like huge dried up cat urine there. And I was like, first, I don't know why. I was like I was like denying in denial. I was like, nah, man, this is not, this is not pee. This can't be pee. How can they pee in between the litter box and the wall? Because the gap is like, like one centimeter less. You know, like, unless you have an eye of a hawk, you cannot, you cannot aim that. It's impossible. You know what I mean? And so I was like, this, this gotta be, this gotta be like, vomit or just like lint just like really yellow lint or something i don't know i was just in denial i'm like this can't be pee but i mean either way i had to clean it i got real close i didn't smell it but like i can smell it from just from being close to it and it was like urine and i was like no this is so gross no wonder why tomo didn't pee i, mean, I think what happened was Ruka was upset that we were gone. And so Ruka peed outside of the litter box just to show his distress. 
Then Tomo was like freaking out because Ruka peed outside the litter box and like the whole area just smelled like Ruka pee. So Tomo was like, even though we have uh, two other litter boxes, I think Tomo was like um, anxious or something and uh, couldn't poop. And then uh, today I, I found out the freaking huge pee stain, cleaned it. Oh my god, it took forever to clean it too because it was, it was like the corner, it was like the wall. It was like so small, like the area that I had to like squeeze myself in there. Oh man, if I did not pull out the litter box to clean out the litter, like we would have never found out that pee. Because it's covered by the litter box. And I was like, this is, this is not good. I was so mad. I was like, Ruka! Yeah, the cats can be really gross. Remember when uh, Ruka and Tomo, they were very anxious that we moved? And uh, Tomo peed on the bed while I was sleeping. I think that might still be the worst thing ever. Because I was like, I was sleeping and I heard like... And I was like, what the heck? Is there like water leaking? And then I was like, hold on a second. I looked up and I opened my eyes. And then Tomo was peeing right next to me on the bed. And I was like, ah! Dude, that was, that was definitely the, the worst. I think the reason why he peed on the bed was because he was anxious that we moved recently. And also, he, he was too anxious to poop, I guess. I don't know, man. I think cats, in order to understand cats, you just don't understand the cats. Because it's almost impossible to understand cats. Not all cats are, like, you know, logical. Tomo, Tomo is not logical. He's, he's more like, go by the feeling kind of guy. Tomo's so relatable. Wait, what? Does that mean that when you're anxious, you pee in your bed? <laughs> That's true. When you get anxious, it's hard to poop. When you're traveling, you know, like, it's, uh, your body gets anxious and you don't really get to poop. You know, yesterday, when we were in the Vancouver Aquarium, I had to poop. And I was like, alright, mommy needs to use the bathroom, let's go to the bathroom. So I brought my daughter with me into the stall and then she was like I don't I don't like it here and I'm like no 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 it's okay you're it's not you using the potty it's mommy mommy needs to poo and then she's like okay and then she was standing in the corner and then <laughs> and then after I pooped she came and looked and she was like wow nice poop mommy but she said that out so loud and I was so embarrassed. I was like, oh. And then she was like, now you gotta flush the potty. Say bye-bye, poopy. And I was like, oh, man. Oh, man, I'm gonna die. <laughs> and then, no. Uh, because, like, that's what we say when we're, when, because, uh, like, we're still potty training her. Uh, you know, like, we say, like, wow, nice poop. And then we'll say, like, bye, say bye-bye to poop, and we'll flush the poop away. You know, like, that's what the potty training book tell you to do as a parent. And then that's what we did. And then she was doing that to me. And I was like, ah. No, everybody knows I pooped. I was I was so embarrassed, man. I was so embarrassed, and I just flushed and I got out. Ho hopefully, no one heard her, but she was so loud. Oh man, potty training backfires you sometimes. But I mean, it's not like I can just leave her outside of the bathroom. That's just not safe. What if someone kidnaps her? It was just me and her, so I have to bring her into the stall with me. 
And then today when we were in the playground, I don't know, like 10 minutes in, she goes like, Mommy, you go on the slide. And then she kept pushing me away. And I was like, I know this gesture. And I said, did you poop? And she's like, yeah. And I was like, all right, we got to change the diaper. And then I was like, let's go to the bathroom to change the diaper. And then uh, she was like, no. She's like, I'm not moving. And I'm like, yeah, but you don't want to show your bum bum to everybody. And she's like, no, I'm not moving. And like, she was very like, you know, she's just very stern. And I was like, okay, then just hide behind this tree so I can change your diaper. And then she was like, okay. <laughs> so like we hid behind this tree and I changed the diaper. <laughs> oh man. But I did, I did take my revenge on her. I said, wow, nice poop. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, there was no one around us. But I did say, wow, nice poop. No, I, oh, wait, wait. I said, wow, what a big poop. I said, what a big poop. <laughs> did you figure out Mad Moon? I, I don't even know how it started. But ever since, like... Just like, I think she just stopped saying Mad Moon right after the stream. Like, she has never said Mad Moon. So, I don't, I don't know. Bad, maybe it's, she's saying Bad Mood? I don't know. Mad Mood? I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. She want, she want, she meant Bad Mood? Did, oh, did Ryan said Bad Move before her? Wait, what? Ryan didn't say bad move before? She's just chess genius? What the? And then, you know, the, this morning, I woke her up and then she says, Mommy, Tomo said buongiorno. And I was like, what? <laughs> Tomo, Tomo said buongiorno? And then, She's like, yeah, Thomas said buongiorno. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, what the heck? Thomas a cat. And then she's like, yeah, Thomas says buongiorno. And I said, do you know what that means? And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, what does that mean? And she's like, I don't know. And I was like, it means good morning in, in Italian. And then she's like, buongiorno. <laughs> And I was like so confused. I'm like, where did she just pick up Italian and say buongiorno? And I was like, what the heck? And then I asked Ryan, like, do you do you know uh her saying Tomo saying buongiorno? Like what what the heck is happening? And then Ryan said on the letter page or on the letter paper, it just says buongiorno. And so like I read that to her yesterday. And I think she just remembered it. And I was like, oh, that explains it. But I was so confused. She ate too much pasta and she just, she's now Ital master of Italian. I was, I was, you could, you could see how I would be so confused. <laughs> just, the, I was just like, my daughter just goes like, Thomas says buongiorno <laughs> without any context. And I was like, what the heck? In my head, Thomas says, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> when he's like, when he's happy or sad, he goes like, ah, ah, ah. Like he never goes like, buongiorno. <laughs> oh, but it was good. It was very good. But I don't know. I think like this is such a fun age that. What she sees and what she hears is just like a mirror, right? There's no filter. It's just a mirror. So like what she sees and what she hears and what she learns, it will just reflect right off. And so <laughs> it creates like really fun experience. Just like random, very random and funny experiences. I know a girl who has a level two bear. She's always overriding, 
whatever food was there. She don't like garlic. She don't like cheese. She don't like lemon or any of these. She uses scampi. Put the boot, put the honey also works. It makes more sense. Right. What the hell is this? This early flaming lips. Boomer. Ha, ha, ha.